Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Another Star. I'm your host, Mr. Gathillion. And in the last episode, we discovered that the star, star Child is being chased by spies slash scouts that are trying to disguise themselves as uh, clan members. And they have pretty powerful weapons. They had, they had guns or mortars and... Yeah, they were pretty powerful, so we want to go to the northern continent and get a weapon that would do something that we're going to be very happy about, as so well as being pretty cryptic about it, but you know what? If it's going to help us out, let's do it. Uh, furthermore, we have found a few secret uh, settlements. We found one that sells pearl armor, which is good armor, but it does lower our agility slightly, and Tasha just gained a level. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. And we discovered new weapons, new goods. We went to Clan Expen, and they had us escorted throughout the whole village. Because they don't trust us. It's clear that they were going to war with whoever ends up with the Star Child. In the shadow of the mountains is a small village, home to Clan Times. Alright, let's talk to the chief. A warrior of Tachi's level should bring a gift of 260 gold to Clan Chief. Is that okay? Yes. Chief Rowan of Clan Times agrees to receive Tachi. Thank you for your gift, Tachi of Clan Minas. It's rare that anyone brings gifts to our clan. Some people think we're weak because Expen rules over us, but we still have our pride. I hear disturbing stories from the south, and I'm worried that something bad is going to happen soon. You are young, Tachi, but I can tell you have lots of courage. Whatever your mission is, I have faith that it is for the greater good. Be strong, Tachi, and go with my blessing in all that you do. So we got a blessing or strength. Increased Eva strength by two. That's good. Um, clan Times is a tributary of Clan Expen. Tributary of Clan Expen. Theirs is a fate that Maltup wished to avoid. Uh, though the other clans still recognize them and they have a chief, the people of Maltup have little power beyond what Expen allows them. A woman in the village asks if Tachi has gotten Chief Rowan's blessing yet. When he answers yes, she tells him that's, that it's good he did. Clanchis have the power to give a blessing to the warriors of any clan. Some warriors travel a long way to get these blessings. A chief's blessings permanently increases a warrior's skill, and the experience a warrior gets in battle will be raised for a short time. Okay, so that boost is permanent. That's good to know. And now I have to go back and get my blessing from another place that I forgot. Um, let's shop. Let's see if there's anything good here. A shell. Ornate cloth folded over the shoulders raises max HP by 10. No, thank you. Uh, gloves with the fingers cut off makes you look really cool. So you'll be stronger. Ooh, strength by three. That's actually pretty good. Small shield made with durable wood. Resi uh, resistance by three. Uh, we already have leather boots. And talisman. A golden talisman hung from a necklace with all stats by... Oh, wow. By quite a bit. So we want a talisman, I think. Um... What do we have equipped right now? Father's Pendant raises only things by 1, 1, and 1. But I think it might, uh... Yeah, it pr he gives us, like, a bunch of stuff from this. But these are not great. So we want to get those either fingerless gloves... And this shield sucks. So we want to upgrade stuff from this village. I have not grinded in between episodes like I said that I would. Um, mostly because, well, I, I didn't really feel like it. And, uh, because it was gonna, like, basically cut into my gameplay. And, uh, but, uh, now I kind of feel like I should have. I thought the life of a hermit would be fun, but it's just a bore. I live alone in this filthy hole in the ground and hardly anybody comes to see me. I'm thinking about retiring, but I might as well teach you something before I leave. Eva, because of your innate affinity, I will teach you the spell Douse. Water is the basis of all life in our world. Without it, we cannot survive. Now, let's practice until you get it right. So we got Kidaus. Kidaus. And uh, will yes, yes. Water damage. 
I'm retiring any day now, so don't bother telling your friends where I am. Well, I won't. I also like having an edge on them, so... And you clearly don't teach everyone everything, because you did not teach Tachi how to use Douse, so... Screw you, buddy. Alright. So let's keep exploring. We must be getting close to uh, having everything explored, really. And this mysterious cave... Probably gonna have a treasure. I can't see it also having a hermit, but you never know. Oh, it has a hermit. Well, you know what? I spoke too soon. Or is that the one I got earlier? Go now, Eva. Okay, yes, we already spoke to this guy. So we're getting close to where we were before. And that's actually pretty good because that means uh, we are getting close to uh, Eva's original village. Where I haven't gone, gotten the blessing of the chief and I want the blessing. So, we will go back. Fight. Fight. Come on. Just die already. You know you're not gonna win. Alright, so basically, Chief, yes, I will pay the money. Welcome back, Tachi. You're not still mad about that little joke of mine, are you? I do pray for your success, but I'm not confident in your in you enough to give any further support beyond the services of my guardian. All I can spare is my blessing that will have to do. At least now that my emissaries have been dispatched so that they can reform our alliance, once you council has appointed a new chief, oh, sorry. Go in victory, Tachi, with my blessing. And uh, increase Eva's agility by three, which I guess is good now that she her agility's been lowered by that axe. So, uh, huzzah. Now the thing is, ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna go sell that banker's purse and I'm going to buy those talismans, at least one talisman. Uh, I think for Sowell, and I think I'm going to buy, I don't know what I wanted to give Eva. Do I want to give her a talisman or fingerless gloves? Now, the talisman is two strength, which is already going to be better than her glove. While this is only three, yeah, it's really not worth buying these over the other ones. So I'm going to buy two of these. But to do that, I'm going to have to sell a few things, including the banker's purse. Now, you think this would be good to keep, but 10% is really not that much. Maybe in the lifetime it would be a lot, but not enough that I want to. So I'll buy a couple of these, and I will equip them to her and to him. This is actually going to raise his attack, because it raises his, uh, his agility, doesn't it? Sweet. Now we can sell this, and we can sell the gloves. Um, I don't think I want to sell anything else, do I? I mean, I might want to sell... Uh, this is a defensive barrier in battle. Actually, I'm going to keep these for... Why have I not used that before? Alright, so maybe selling this thing was a bad idea, but <clears throat> I think it was a good idea. Now everyone's going to do more damage. They'll resist more attack. <clears throat> well done, Soel. Not a great level, though. And with that money that's left over, I can check out these... Um, I can check out these chainmails, see if they lower my agility. If we go to the shop and I do buy, chainmail lowers agility by two. And it blocks nine, so I don't know what's more worth it. Uh, the pearl armor or the chainmail? Um, agility is important, but you gain agility after every level, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Ah, oh, man, decisions, decisions. Leather armor it increases. Oh, actually, leather armor still lowers your agility. So, really, in the end, it's not that big of a downgrade. So this raises your block by nine. Let's check out what the uh, what the block on the pearl armor was. Was it better than nine? Because if it's only going to upgrade, uh, downgrade my agility by an extra point, I rather have that. So shop by uh, pearl armor. 
10. 9, 10. Yeah, and it's cheaper too, actually. You know what? I'm actually gonna buy the pearl armor instead. I'm gonna buy a few. Pearl armor. Pearl armor. I'm pretty sure if we give it to him, it'll lower his attack, yeah. So maybe for him, we don't... Hey, I meant to go here. Pearl armor. Alright, and... Well, actually, you know what? Regardless, I'm eventually gonna have to upgrade him, and I have a feeling that it's not gonna be good. Escape vial. This glass... Break this glass vial to create a smoke screen and escape without losing loot. Yeah, I'm never gonna do that. Is there, do I have any more escape vials? Magic mirror. Look into this mirror to return to the entrance of a dungeon. Well, I, I barely ever use that, so I'm gonna sell one. Oh, that could actually be useful. Mark of Will. When reciting in battle, will grant three times the XP. I guess that's kind of good. Alright, so... Escape vial, glass orb, fairy dust. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to buy another pearl armor. I don't care that it will lower his his attack a little bit. Why? Because eventually I'm going to have to upgrade anyway. So there you go. That this was a very good upgrade. Obviously we lost a lot of money. Uh, if we end up going to the north, we'll probably lose out on sun stuff. Oh, nice. Level leveled up again, and the XP boost is gone, which is fine. That's totally fine. But I do want to go back to that cave to fight that group of, uh, dudes that were too tough for me at the time. And we have a bunch of stuff we can actually get to. I don't know if I've gained enough levels since, and I don't know if my upgraded armor will be enough, but, uh, hopefully it is. All right. Wow, look at this monster. Wow, wow, wow. All right, not bad. We're kicking butt now. We were always kicking butt. Ah, jeez, there's a lot of monsters here. Wow, jeez, a group of five? Are you kidding me? 84 loot, man. I could, I could grind in here to get more money. What would I buy? What would I buy? I don't really know. I mean, I could always buy uh, that talisman thing. Not the talisman, but the thing that keeps people from running. Uh, keep... Wow. Uh, that keeps me from getting ambushed. Oh, these things are probably weak against water. Because they're robotic. All of these things are weak against water. Yay! Glad to have found that out. So we got Fairy Dust, and we got File of Elixir, which I could probably sell. I think that's the thing that rests you if you die in battle. Um, I don't really see myself using that. But who knows? Maybe I will uh, at, at one point, you know? So I've thrown stuff out for that one. And I don't think I had... I hadn't thrown anything out for this one. I'd rather kill the, the bats first. And now, kill the robots. Again, that's working, you know? Why not? I don't know what's, what those scouts are weak against. What's funny is I could probably just attack them. Huh. What would these guys... Would these guys be weak against wind? I really don't think these guys would be weak against... Let's try wind. Oh, wow. Look at that. Awesome. And, oh yeah, we got uh, Sun and Eclipse, I believe. So let's do water first. Ah, oh, I did not mean to attack. Oh, I might well just attack now, but yeah. All right, so that was Eclipse and this one was Solar. I'm assuming those are like wind and uh, fire and Let's see here. Eclipse. Uh, chant the spell written in this scroll to cast darkness, magic, and battle. And this one is light magic. I don't really know what that means just yet. So first things first, let's use see if these dragons are weak against Kidaus. No, they're in fact they're immune. So let's see if they're weak against K 
key gust. They are not. So it seems there's nothing they're weak against. So I'm gonna kill off that giant bat thing, the dread bat. And we're just gonna kill these guys. These krill are not weak against anything. Clearly, we've tried. I mean, they're weak against something, but we just don't know what it is. Oh man. Go, fight. Stupid cockroach. Just die already. Uh, man, now I don't remember where that guy was. He was blocking two treasures. He's nearby. He's not too far, I think. But... Yeah, he's at the top here, I believe. Or was it further? And these guys, yeah, it's not worth wasting mana. Nope, we got the treasures here. Hmm, now I'm really wondering. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think he's at the beginning, and then you turn right, and then you go up. So, down here, right one, and then up one. I hope. I mean, it's the only treasures that are left, I believe. Yeah, alright, perfect. So we will save here. Uh, we are fully healed, and... So we'll fight these guys. Now, we don't know what these guys are weak against, but we do have stuff. So I'm going to use a turtle thing to raise her defense. Perfect. And that doesn't do as much damage now. And we are going to use... Hmm. Might as well do it, right? Enemies' weaknesses. All is revealed is weakness weak to lightning. Really? Did we try that last time? Oh no, it's because their damage is just way stronger. Oh wow, look at that. We're actually kicking ass with this level 2 thing. Jeez, what a difference a few levels has made. Incredible! You have more talent than I had expected. Take the chests, you've earned them. 120 loot and the glass orb. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Um, I feel kind of silly now. Why were they so tough last time? I should have used that freaking scroll early. I think I just got really unlucky, to be honest, with um, with them using that thing that did a lot of damage. Because I was trying to use... Uh, nice, Tachi gained another level. Well, actually, you know what? That's more than just that. I upgraded all my armor. I got some talismans. Yeah, no, no, no. This is more than just a couple of levels and using a scroll. This is actually quite a few levels and upgraded armor and weapons. I am being silly. Not only upgraded weapons, but upgraded spell too, so... Yeah, see, like, even monsters are dying in one turn. Though that, that was a critical, though, but still. Still. Alright, let's see here. I think the uh, creator is actually working on a sequel. Well, maybe not a sequel, but he's working on a new game. He has a lot of uh, mock-ups on his Twitter. You guys should check it out. Um, I don't... I, I'll, I, I would say that I'd put his Twitter in the description below, but uh, the thing is, I always forget to do these things. So instead, what I do know is that his uh, website is linked in my description of all these videos. So if you go to his website, you should be able to find his, uh, his Twitter. And check it out. One guy really looks like Tachi. Like Tachi-like armor, so... It might be based in the same world. Just n wouldn't be, uh, just not an actual sequel. I don't know. And it looks like a JRPG because, um... He, there's a lot of mock-ups of battle screens. I think we could just fight, honestly. Yeah, so a lot of mock-ups. They look really good. Um, I don't know what this game was made in. I don't know if he programmed it from scratch or if he's used something like Game Maker. But uh, it's, you know, he's done a decent job at it. So I don't know if he's a programmer, but he's definitely a good artist because his pixel art is top-notch. 
And one thing that I find that a lot of uh, pixel artists do are like, I don't want to say he's a rookie, like I have no idea what his background is, but a lot of uh, rookie pixel artists, and I say that like as if I'm an expert, but uh, they'll uh, they'll have like a different sized pixel depending on graphics. Like some battle sprites, the pixels will be four pixels by four pixels because they don't realize that everything should have the same pixel size, right? And it's not really on purpose, they just don't really realize it. And until somebody points it out to you, you don't realize it. Because I remember back in the day, I made a game for a, uh, for a competition on Tick Source with a friend of mine. Uh, it was called Narcoleptic Soccer Rush. And it was basically a game about uh, a soccer team that has narcolepsy, and so they would just randomly fall asleep everywhere. And, uh, yeah, it was a funny game, and we did it in XNA, but, uh... I was doing the pixel art for it, and I had my little sprites running around with the soccer, and it was all good, but, uh, the field, I had made a small field on a smaller grid, and we had just blew it up by a factor of, you know, like, four or ten or something to make it an actual field, and then people were saying, like, you know, your graphics look good, but you shouldn't just blow up uh, pixels like that. Now it looks like some of your pixels are bigger than others. Walks along the cobblestone pass of Clan Skerutz, a uh, bustling port. Uh, the smell of salt water is thick in the air. We'll go see the chief. A warrior of Tachi's level. Yes, that's fine. Chief Holland of Clan Skerut agrees to receive Tachi. Hello, friend, and welcome to Port Skerut. It's been a long time since we've seen someone from Clan uh, Minas. Please stay a while and enjoy yourself. I suppose you're, you rarely have a reason to travel this far, but poor Adit's ships don't travel as far as ours, do they? If you're looking for a way to the northern continent, I'm sure you'll find what you need in our harbor. It's a pity we can't speak for longer, so please accept my blessing. So our maximum hit point has gone up by eight. That's nice. Let's see what we have in the shop. Uh, I'm gonna sell this net. Because I don't really care about tangling up enemies right now. And I'm going to sell the leather armor. I don't know why I had another one. Uh, this is actually very small. Like, I feel like it'd be something that good to keep, but I don't want it. And this one, well, this one I'm gonna keep just because I just got it. Guys, I just got it and I don't know what it's used for, so I feel like I'm gonna regret it. But let's see what they have for... For sale. Uh, Max HP, I don't care about. A uh, poncho, it's waterproof, I don't care about. A battle axe, uh, I already have one. Isn't that the one that, uh, yeah, Tachi has this one? We got plenty of these, we got plenty. Uh, I have, I think I have a silver bell left, and we got some fairy dust. Not enough that I want to buy more. So we won't keep going. Well, let's get some news. Even though it's a bit smaller than Tachi's home of Clan Minas, Clan Skarut wields a lot of power. The report is one of the world. Sh uh, 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 wait. It's one of the most important in the world. Sorry, I skipped a line there. Shipping and receiving far more goods than Port Adit in the south. Clan Expen remains both Skarut's greatest threat and their greatest ally. According to the Longshoremen, working in the harbor, over half of Port Divine's imports are destined for Clan Expen. When Tachi asks for advice in his journey, everyone tells him to make sure he gets plenty of rest by staying at taverns. A well-rested warrior will deal more damage using normal attacks than one that's been out adventuring all day. Really? Really? Oh, well, I guess that's what a tavern does then. So let's... We haven't actually been here in a while. I guess 49 gold pieces is not that much. So we woke up refreshed. And I'm going to save before I take the ferry. And you know what, guys? I know I said I would cross the, the pond uh, in this episode, but I think uh, it's a good time to end the episode here. Uh, we had a pretty good upgrades. We had some good boss battles or what should have been boss battles in previous episodes. And now we're actually back on track for the story with blessings from all the different uh, clans. So as always, I am your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting. Let me know what you think about this game, and I will see you all next time. Bye now. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. 
If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.